Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today I'm going to explain you how you can grab the host name and send it to Matt One Analytics because by default this data is not collected. It's uh, straightly merged with the page URL. So I got the following idea of this video when one of my um, people that I was training um, told me that um, he she was interested in having a report which just showed the website, the number of visits and the bounce rate. So of course you can get somehow this data if uh, you go within Matomo and uh, within Matomo if you interact with the page URL and that you ask for the full count of the URL, right? The one which is over here. You can, oops, sorry for that. You can uh, here get uh, the total and know in fact uh, how many visits and page views and bounce rate have been uh, triggered for the given website. But as you can see, you need on each time to display this given line and you get actually all those URL and the only thing that you would like to get is just one line with the minimum of a metric. So in order to make the host name appear, you can use a Matomo Tag Manager. So in order to do so, what you will do is that you will go over here on Tag Manager, then uh, you go to your container. And in fact, it's uh, within the variable uh, that you have assigned to your tag at the page view level. So if you go here on variable, that you need to set one variable. So you go down here and here you put the uh, variable which is page host name and as a result it's going to push the host name to matomo if you created for that um, uh, custom dimension before so in my case it's going to be slot number two because this is what i did i went over here i created a custom dimension at the action level this is what you have up here custom dimension and here at the action level i created one custom dimension which is named host name and as you can see it has nothing specific it's just active so as a result every time in my case that the page view is going to be loaded it's going to push out the given host name so this is very useful for the previous use case that i show you just to have the information regarding the host name but as well it's kind of interesting because it allows you to see some website to just stole your tracking code, insert it on their own website. And then as a result, you can easily identify uh, who are the one who are stealing your tracking code away. So um, you go in behavior then, and you go on host name because once you create your custom dimension, this was gonna happen. And if you go on the 22, as you can see here, I will get uh, all the different host names which are hosting my given tracking code. So normally you will just get your tracking code over here. Uh, here the method that I'm using is the one of the custom dimension and it has one uh, kind of drawback uh, because as you can see it's uh, pushing as well the action URL on which the given custom dimension has been recorded plus in fact additional metrics that I probably do not want. And the issue with that is when you define it with the custom dimension is that if you create a report, so in my case that's going to be in email reports and then if i look at uh at this one you will see yep sorry for that again i should have select the given day you will see that you have uh, more data than you want because in fact it's automatically uh, flattening the report and as a result you get uh, all the url like this it's not very uh, useful so uh, i mean it's not very beautiful so in order to avoid this what you need to have is the custom uh, reports plugin, which is a premium feature. And then when you decide to create your report, what you do is that you go over here, you assign the custom dimension, which is the custom dimension host name. And then you just select visit and bounce rate. As a result, it will provide you with a report, which will uh, be the one that you expect. So just the host name plus the visit and bounce rate. And if you use this given, um, this given custom report in order to create um, a report then you will see that it will look like this and like this you get just in fact the information that your given um, user want at the end and like this they are not going to ask you any extra question because you just get the information that they wanted once more uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention uh, please feel free to practice and create your own custom dimension thanks to uh, Matomo and Matomo Tag Manager in order to push host name.
And as a result, you will know if your Matomo have been hacked and as well uh, to be able to create some easy reports. Once more, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate to create your own video and share them on social network.